Hi everyone. In this lesson, we'll upload the game to the Yandex Games platform. It's basically a catalog of games, with each having an icon, cover, description, screenshots, videos, and belonging to some genre. All this needs to be specified in the developer console. It's where all your uploaded projects live, and where you can view their status and enable certain functions. We're also going to use the console to upload our build. Let's start by uploading our application to Yandex Games. Go to the console website, click here, and press Add App. Let's talk through filling out all these fields. In fact, everything is described very well here. There are detailed instructions under each field, explaining what needs to be written there. Let's go through them one by one. You can choose between several languages, which will give you different translations of all the descriptions and names. You can add or remove languages. The most popular languages on the platform are Russian, English, and Turkish. The most popular is Russian, of course. Yandex recommends filling out the descriptions in these three languages. Let's begin with English. Title. To save us time, I've prepared everything in this file, so we'll simply copy the info over. I'll call the game Yellow Man Run. Let me arrange the windows to see everything. In this menu, you specify whether the game's been translated into Russian. Right now, our game's in English, but it's just two words on the buttons. Later, we'll localize it for each chosen language, so I'm going to pick Yes. Next, the SEO description. This is for when people use a search engine to look for the game. Let's enter the name of some game in the search box. There's a game on Yandex called Like a King. The summary you see here it's the same for Yandex and Google. Is the SEO description you put into this field. This is what I've prepared. Inside the box, you can see concise instructions and the limit is 255 characters. Put in a short and sweet description of your game. Now we move on to description, which is what Yandex Games users will see on the website in the games list. How to play. Explain the controls and goal of the game to help players get their bearings. This is how I wrote it. Don't forget to press save from time to time so you don't lose the changes you make when collapsing or closing the tab. Save scumming is actually welcome here. Game version. You can leave it at default, and later, if you change something, write 0.0.0.2. Choose the game's category. Categories are where the game is placed. Here, on the website, it's the section your game is displayed in. As you can see, here are the Yandex Games categories. Users click on them to find your game. Choose the one that fits. Actually, you can choose two. For our game, let's go with Arcade and Casual. There we go. Obviously, two categories are better than one. Gives your game more visibility. Next, let's supply tags. There is a preset list of tags so you don't need to come up with new ones. That list is fairly large, but I recommend skimming through it and picking keywords that relate to your game. For example, 3D, no registration, no download. Things that describe your game. These words represent popular search queries. That does it for tags. Next, keywords. You come up with these on your own. Try to think of words the user would use to search for a game similar to yours. It can be the name of a popular title with similar gameplay. Maybe things players encounter in game. Here are my keywords. Moving on images. First, we choose an icon. You can see the comments specifying the dimensions and extension. Your image has to meet these requirements. 
I've prepared some files in advance. You'll have to do this part yourself so we don't have completely matching icons and covers. That'll be my icon. Next, the cover. The cover is what displays here, on this page. Here are some examples. This shouldn't be just a screenshot from the game. Make something eye-catching, maybe have the name of your character there or something. Browse through other covers on the platform and use them for inspiration. For my first game on Yandex Games, I didn't bother and just used a screenshot. Thought it looked pretty enough. And was reflective of the gameplay, it didn't pass moderation. That's why we need a proper cover. Promo materials. Vertical and horizontal video. Here you can also see explanations regarding the aspect ratio and so on. 16 colon 9 and the others. I'm going to upload a vertical video. It's a gameplay recording. Also, a horizontal video. Same deal. I tease a GIF image displayed on the Yandex Games page. Make sure it's no heavier than 600 kilobytes. If there's a lot of movement and action in your game, it may be quite hard to stay within that size limit, but still, I managed to create a small GIF that works. Short and simple. And this is where we actually upload the game. After we build the Unity project, you need to add it to a zip archive. Make sure it's zip no RAR, no 7Z. They're not supported and won't be recognized. You'll see a short loading status, and the file will be uploaded. Click Save, and in about 5 minutes the game will be available as a draft that can be tested. By the way, you can also download the archive by pressing this button. This can be useful if you lose your local build and want to see what it looked like. Next, you upload screenshots from mobile and desktop. Choose the orientation. For mobile, it's portrait. So, I browsed to several vertical files I created. It says here that there should be two or more screenshots. For desktop, it defaults to landscape. Let's choose the images. Getting them is simple the game can already run in the browser, so just enlarge it to full screen. Use the F11 shortcut, for example. Then snap away. Next, enter the age rating. Again, there are explanations here for every age bracket. I don't believe there's anything risque in our game, so let's set it to 0 plus. Supported platforms. Select all desktop browsers, and the mobile options as well. Check the boxes. If you want the game to work on iOS browsers then, in addition to checking this, you need to enter the Apple Team ID. It's required for the game to run in iOS browsers. I'll uncheck it. Choose the orientation. We'll be testing on the computer. Any means it changes along with phone rotation. But we're going to choose landscape. No need to check these. Later we'll be adding the authorization and leaderboard functionality. We'll check this box then. We don't need those. Here we have advertising videos used by Yandex to promote your game. You can choose several videos, and there are also format recommendations. It needs to be something more than just a gameplay recording. I'm not going to add anything now, but this is an effective promotional tool you should keep in mind. We're done, now press save. At the top, you have this progress bar. It shows the percentage completion of the form for each language. Ours is green, 100%. If I switch to Russian, it's going to be much less. The reason we have anything at all here is that some things are universal between languages, like tags and categories. 
not so for descriptions they need to be entered from scratch. I've translated mine into Russian. The title may be worth putting some thought into. I'll call mine Yellow Man Run. Description There we go. How to play. You can do the same with Turkish. Just use Google Translate or any other tool. Here's a convenient feature the icon is not uploaded, because for the English version it may be different. However, if you check here, it's going to import your icon from the Russian draft. Like that, same thing with the cover. As you can see, there's some text, so it'd be better to upload a different one for the English version. Select the file, and now we have English text. Screenshots are universal for all languages, so just check the box. That's pretty much it. Save. Now the English version is also 100% complete. You can do the same with Turkish and any other language. Next. After we upload our game, it gets verified. Eventually, you'll get this link. Click it to see how the game looks in the browser. It loads. Everything's working. Do your testing. Check for errors and any stray elements. Make sure the game works on all the platforms you've chosen. If you checked Android, you can simply copy this link and send it to your phone or other devices. After all that, press Submit for moderation. It says I haven't specified the title in Turkish. To avoid wasting any time, I'll just remove the Turkish language option for the game. Now, send it in for moderation. The process can take a while, up to several days. This button now cancels the moderation process. If we click Applications, we'll see that the status has changed to reflect that the moderation is in progress. Eventually, you'll receive an email to the address you used to register. It'll either say that the app was approved or specify the corrections you need to make. Please take your time with this step. The icon, cover, and videos are what the user sees first. You also need to enter all the info if your game is to be picked by Yandex for its featured section. In that case, it'll be displayed at the top of its category. The Yandex documentation has instructions for uploading games via the console, so if you have any questions head on over there. It's also where you'll find the FAQ.